Essentials by Fear of God is a really great alternative to the main line of Fear of God, especially because of its cheaper price points. And most recently, there's been a lot of drops in a plethora of colors or shades coming out, and you've probably been seeing it flooding your social media. And you've probably seen a lot of your friends wear it more often too. You're probably watching this video because you're trying to figure out the perfect size for you. You might have asked your friend and realized that they're not wearing the same size that they wear in all their regular clothes. This video is going to help you break down what is the perfect size for you so you can get your hands on some essential items and make sure it fits perfectly and how you want it to. If that sounds good, let's get into this video. If you're lucky enough to get your hands on essentials for retail, then you're probably buying it from Paxson or Essence. Now these two sites probably have a male and female category for these items, but the truth is they're unisex sizing. They come from extra extra small all the way to double XL. So when you get essentials, you're gonna get in this nice little bag over here and it's just gonna tell you a size on it. Now this size, like I said earlier, is unisex and you might be wondering what size is perfect for you. So I'm gonna try on my essentials because it doesn't make sense to do an essentials video and not be wearing essentials. So let me just quickly change into that right now. All right, now that's much better. As you guys can see here, I'm wearing the Essentials hoodie in the Moss colorway that released earlier in fall. And to give you guys my dimensions, I'm 5'5", 125 pounds. I'm on the smaller size. My true size is usually small. And in this hoodie over here, I'm wearing extra small. What Jerry Lorenzo refers to as oversize and mo what most people refer to as oversize is two different things. Unless you're a true Jerry boy, I always recommend sizing one down in the hoodie just because it's going to be a little too big on you and a little too baggy. Unless you want to be swimming in it, then I would recommend going one size down. So if you're a true medium, I'd go for a size small. If you're a large, I'd go for a medium and so on. Just keep sizing down. And even if you're an extra small, there is double excess. So extra, extra small. It's okay. It's just a size tag on it. They're meant to be oversized. That's the truth about essentials. They're all going to be oversized regardless, unless you're going like two, three sizes down, then it's just not going to fit right. Essentials is meant to fit baggy and looser. And especially because of these quarantine vibes we're in right now, or you might be sitting from home. It's not bad to have a comfy, cozy hoodie, especially an essentials fear of God one. It's on brand, kind of stylish and kind of just fits the vibe that we're in right now. A little more comfy, laid back style but I always recommend in the hoodies going one size down. When it comes to the pants, I would recommend going true to size just for your waist. If you're in between sizes, I do recommend going one size down once again, just to make it fit a little more slimmer, a little more tapered, and it might be a little tighter on the waist, but you will be able to adjust it with the long drawstrings they have. When it comes to the t-shirts, I recommend going true to size because they are meant to fit oversized. It's an oversized t-shirt at the end of the day, but once again, if you want just the essentials branding on it, you kind of want to fit in with the trend that's going on right now, but you want it to be a little more fitted, go one size down. When it comes to the mock necks and the zip up sweaters, same thing, just go one size down and you'll get a nice, still relaxed fit, but it's going to be more fitted towards your silhouette. Overall, Essentials by Fear of God is a great collection. The quality of these hoodies are really nice. They're really thick. And in a later video, I'm going to actually show you guys how to wash these properly so the letters don't fall off because they are 3D raised. They're not actually embroidered or it's just like a cheap print screen on it. They're actually just like raised text on here that does need to be washed properly in order to make sure that they don't fall off during the wash and you're missing like an E or something like that. Overall, this current collection of essentials is very true to the mainline fit of Fear of God. And in terms of quality, it is pretty well made and very durable. I personally think the build is really good on it, but there are special ways to wash it to make sure it does last and hold up over time, which I will make a video on, like I said earlier. I hope this quick little size guide was able to help you guys out, figure out what you guys wanna buy in terms of sizing for essentials and get into a hoodie, t-shirt, or sweatpants sometime in the near future. If you guys aren't able to get it on the retail drops, there is a little bit of resale attached to these items, but honestly, it's about $20 to $40 over, depending on the items or depending on hype it is. Trust me, the shades are very similar to previous collections. Like, I believe recently I was able to cop a taupe brown and an olive, and the olive is very similar to a sage. There's subtle differences that you can appreciate over time, but overall, the colors are very similar, so if you miss out on one drop, don't worry, you'll get the next one and you'll get something very similar. If you're really particular about your shades, then maybe it's worth paying the resale prices, but they're not too high. Trust me, you'll be able to get something for maybe $40 to like $50 over what you would pay at a store, and it's not too bad. Overall, if you enjoy the items and you enjoy the hoodie and want to wear it as often as possible, then it's worth paying the resale prices. If you want to be on trend with what's going on right now, maybe just wait it out till the next collection drops and the newer colors drop. Jerry always makes sure the colors are coordinated to the seasons. There are very subtle differences, but you learn to appreciate that as the essentials drops progress. And honestly, I really do appreciate and enjoy this hoodie a lot. 
and I'm really grateful to have got it for retail. Hopefully you guys can get your hands on some essentials really soon and start wearing it right away. That is it for this video guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.